the inflation report that came out today, uh, the President is promising that the Inflation Reduction Act will do just that and bring down costs. But this bill does not address food or housing, prices of which we are seeing going up. So what is your message to Americans who are seeing these rising costs? And are you confident that you're doing enough to, to finally bring these down? So look, the President has said for uh, some time now, when it comes to his, uh, his number one economic priority, is to deal with inflation, is to make sure that we are lowering costs for, Americans pe for, for the American people, for American families, Americans who have to come around the table, uh, you know, once a month in, in particular to figure out how are they going to pay those bills. Again, this is why the event that we're having uh, in less than 45 minutes to, to uh, celebrate and talk talk about, you're here from the President, about the Inflation Reduction Act is so critical. That is why Democrats and this President uh, took took the, you know, did the hard work to get that done, is to lower costs on health care, to lower costs on prescription drugs, uh, and uh, and also energy costs as well. Look, when you look at the data, the inflation data, uh, look, we're, we're seeing more progress bringing global inflation down in the U.S. economy, as I just stated moments ago. Overall, uh, prices have been essentially flat in our country these, these last two months. Uh, that is welcome news for American families, with more work still to do. As you know, Every day this summer, gas prices have come down. Uh, uh, we are at about a dollar, have come down on average a dollar and 30 cents a gallon. That is because of the work that this administration did with the leadership uh, of this president. This month, we saw some welcome moderation in the price uh, increases uh, for food at the grocery store. It's moderating, uh, which is important. And real wages are going up again uh, for the second month in a row, giving hard families, hard working families, just a little bit of, of breathing room that you hear the president say. Uh, look, we understand that there is more work to do, and that is something that we are uh, very, very focused on as well. The, the more work that we have to do to get this to more uh, down, the cost down for, for American families. But this bill doesn't address groceries or rent. So how long should Americans expect those prices to remain high? So look, we're, again, we're going to do everything that we can to lower prices. But let me, but we have taken concrete. Uh, actions to lower food. Uh, for example, there's the doubling cropping, double cropping that USDA is making it easier for U.S. farmers to grow food in America, increase food supply, and lower food costs for American families. There's the fertilizer, which is also important in, in where fertilizer prices spiked following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and remain at high levels. Uh, that's why the president took action there, and USAID have, has committed $500 million to lower a fertilizer cost costs for farmers and increased supply. Uh, there's the ocean shipping as well. The president signed into law a historic reform of ocean shipping industry. industry. All of these actions uh, are going to help lower cost. Again, we understand that there's more work to do, but we have to understand that the, inf the um, uh, Inflation Reduction Act, it is a historic piece of legislation. It is going to make a, a big, it's going to be a big deal for families, change their lives as you look at prescription drugs. Uh, and for Medicare beneficia beneficiaries, as you look at energy cost uh, for uh, for American uh, American families, that is still a big deal. Is there more work to be done? Absolutely.